Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl, very soon. Neze, neze, mwa, neze, pepe, <laughs> and this is Neze Pepe Rempe. In today's video, we are going to be talking. We're going to be spilling it hot, hot, bass, boss, true, 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 true. So what's up with all these media rounds about Jakpa marriages, as they have named it? <laughs> Nigerian marriages, African marriages abroad not working. What is going on? I have been trying to avoid this topic. But it seems as though every time I open Instagram, every time I'm online, I keep on coming across stories of, oh, look at what this woman did to her husband abroad. Oh, African marriages abroad are not working. They are crashing. Even if marriages get there one month, they have splits. And I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> is it another marriage that they're talking about or this one that we are all doing here? What is going on here? So in today's video, we are going to be talking. First and foremost, I want to warn you guys that you shouldn't believe everything you see, read, or watch on social media. Some of these stories are coined. They could have been coined by Bisola lying down on her mattress in Elori. Some of these Twitter stories, some of these TikTok stories never happened. And truly, yes, some of them do happen, okay? But it's important for you to remember that sad stories get most of the spotlights in media business, okay? If I come here today and I start telling you every day of ah, this man and his wife, oh, they love each other, they've been married. Tomorrow I come again, oh, this man and his wife, oh, they love each other they've been married for so, so years you'll be like okay so what then happened you want to hear the bad parts so how did the marriage crash what happened did anybody cheat do you understand so negative stories will always get the loudest buzz it is normal so just because you have one or two isolated cases making the round on social media does not mean that that is how a majority of marriages abroad Ah, okay, they are very beautiful, good marriages abroad. It's not going to let anybody deceive you. I see some people comment, oh, this is scaring me. Ah, now you know why they fear, but we're going to get there. If you are scared about your marriage coming here and crashing, <laughs> we are going to get to you. So today I came across this story. Let me read it out to you guys so you guys can, can hear it. Okay? Now this was a thread. I think this thread started from Twitter, but it found its way to Instagram. And it says, it's very unfair how some Nigerian women are treating some Nigerian men once they get to the UK. You both make good plans from Nigeria for a better future, but once you get to UK, you just don't care anymore. Jakpa love is a big scam. So many men are depressed. Okay. And somebody responded, Etim Peter, he says, the way you people are portraying and generalizing this husband and wife travel to UK and the wife treats the husband badly is making us who are planning to Jakpa as a couple afraid. <laughs> Etim is one of the people that are scared. Then someone else said, it is what is going on over here. It's a pandemic. Somebody now responded again. I know somebody suffering this in Norway. Very well-to-do guy. Mom insists that he marries someone from their village so they can raise kids that speak the language and all. <laughs> so there's no, there's no lady in the city that can speak your language that is from your place. It's only a lady from the village. <laughs> Now, you know your plan. Your plan don't hook you for truth. But let us be going. Babe reaches Norway. After three months, decides she would rather find a new guy. She didn't spend a couple traveling out. No be only UK, Philip said. A friend of mine is suffering the same thing. Or a friend of mine suffered this in Australia recently. It broke him completely. And trusts our men to jump on the thread. Both those that had experience, both those that formulated experience, everybody started dropping their experiences. And I'm like, what exactly is going on? Let us address this marriage issue. Jackpa marriage. For those that don't know the meaning of Jackpa, it means marriage of Nigerians who were living in Nigeria and relocated. And this whole propaganda on the social media on how it doesn't work, it keeps crashing, the women are being wicked to the men, the women are maltreating the men, all the men are brought are depressed, all the men... Okay. So first, um, any marriage that you had in Nigeria and came abroad, <laughs> you guys imported or should I say exported the marriage to Obodo Yibo and the marriage crashes under three months or four months or six months or four months or six months or one year, that marriage was fundamentally flawed 
even in Nigeria. But it was condition that made crayfish like to bend that people were putting up with each other there. That marriage was already on the brink of a collapse. It was an unhealthy marriage. In fact, it was just cohabition. If you had a marriage in Nigeria for years and you come here three months after it crashed, my dear, there was no marriage at all. You just packaged yourself and exited Nigeria as a couple, in quotes. So one thing you should know is any marriage that is good in Nigeria has a tendency, a propensity to get better when you come here. But a bad marriage in Nigeria would definitely get worse here. See, go and look for somewhere and write what I just told you. A good marriage will get better and a bad marriage will get worse. I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Again, any man who is scared of relocating with his wife because she would change, she will maltreat him. He will no longer be the Lord of the Rings and the Lord of Lords and the gods of and the Almighty and the Alpha and Omega. See, um, if you are if you are not married to this guy, if you are still in talking stage with this guy, please, my dear sister, run away. That guy is a walking red flag. That guy is bad news. Any guy that whose fear is that he doesn't want to bring his wife abroad, so he will not lose his power, so he will not be able to lose control over her. That man is a walking problem run and as a woman in nigeria if you're married mm, sit down everybody in fact uh, just ask yourself this question take this one minute practice from this course ask yourself this question as a woman mm, that if you are very wealthy today like so stinkingly wealthy you can afford the best life you can train your children give your children the standard of living you want will you still be married to your husband see uh, if the answer is no in that nigeria when you come here that marriage will have a problem because that marriage is just like a financial backup for you in Nigeria. There is no love. There is no real commitment. It is just situation marriage. So a marriage that you know that if you had enough money, you won't be with that man. It is obvious why you are there. And those kind of marriages will definitely come here and have problem because when you come here, you might attain some kind of financial independence that will now inform different decisions that you couldn't make when you were in Nigeria. So as a woman, ask yourself that question. You know, uh, since this jackpa problem of marriage thing has been coming up on social media, I have been trying to ask myself, like do a mental scan. Now ask, is there any woman in the world? I know that some women are different. Some women are wicked. Some women are possessed. Some women are... I'm not talking about the exceptions. I'm talking about general rules here because there's no discussion where if you start discussing exceptions, you would ever end, okay? Exceptions would always exist, but we dwell our analysis on general rules, right? Now, I am yet to see a woman who is enjoying a peaceful, happy marriage with a cooperative spouse. There is joy cooperation, togetherness, there is no maltreatment, there is no abuse, whether emotional, physical, or mental abuse. Everything is going well. Fine, you guys will have the normal couple misunderstanding that everybody has, okay? Now, such a woman in such a happy, healthy marriage will just wake up one day and tell the husband to pack out of the house. That's what is sweeting her right now is to be a single mother. I am still yet to understand that ideology. Me, that I am abroad, I know the importance, I know the role that my husband plays in my life, in the home, and in the children's life. Even with my husband around, I know how my head, the popcorn, <laughs> Ima, when you put corn inside the popcorn machine, the way your popcorn, you like, pam, 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 ishing about popcorn 24-7, my head is always turning because of responsibilities. You know they finish, work know they finish, responsibilities know they finish. Now, I am in that situation, I am in a marriage with a man that is contributing, that is cooperative that we are living happily together no issues he's not beating he's not maltreating he's corresponding in this children's life everything is going well then i'll just wake up one morning ah no 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 i want to be a single mother i want to handle all these family responsibilities together all the ones that he does dropping the children toilets packing snow dustbin everything i want to be doing by myself i just want him to go out of the house hello please you should try to reason this kind of thing for a woman to decide that she would rather stay alone than to stay with you, all things being equal, that means that your presence puts her in a worse situation than your absence. She is relieved by you not being there than she is benefiting from you being there. That means you are adding problem to her, you are adding headache to her, you are not alleviating her stress, you are not alleviating her, the weight of the load on her. 
No sane woman receiving love and assistance from a husband would rather lose it and do it all alone. Please let me know in the comment section because I'm thinking like a normal human being. Are there any abnormal human beings out there? Hello? If you know that you didn't go to the middle of road, the ring road, and pick wife, if you married a decent, normal human being, make it make sense to me that she would rather suffer raising four children alone or three children or two children alone than having you in their lives because some of these men when they start sending messages back home see what my wife did my wife kicked me my wife didn't give me food my wife she sent me out they do not see the stories of what caused that reaction when they start painting women as evil and painting human beings as evil on the internet they do not see the background story you're married abroad you have a job your wife has a job as this person is coming in, that person is going out. People are struggling to make ends meet. Bills full ground. Mortgage boku. House chores boku. Then you go to work. You tell yourself that your only work is that job you are going to. You have sworn that you can never pick pain in your house. You come back before your wife, you cross your leg. You wait for your wife to come back. When she comes back, she will not be the one to do laundry she will cook she will clean check children's homework go and buy groceries go and do this then you will now sit down pressing your phone in the night you expect her to surrender herself and hang one leg in south pole hang the other one in north pole you cannot get the best from that marriage even house helps hmm? house helps whose job it is just to do chores you still have to manage them Anybody who is overburdened, anybody who is overwhelmed with responsibilities will be irate, will be unhappy, will feel cheated, will be constantly depressed. Even when I was in Nigeria with my house helps, when we go out with my children, I will hold the new baby. If it's swimming, we go for. If it's a um, roller coaster ride, anything we'll go for. I will tell the house helps, oh yeah, go. Go and enjoy. Move around, play around, leave children. I will hold the child just to clear that helps mine because she's a human being. And when you overburden somebody, you overpressure somebody, the person is constantly under pressure. You cannot get the best from that human being. Now you are abroad. Everybody is hustling. But you would never contribute in the house. If you talk, you say it's not a man's job to do this. It's not a man's job to do this. See, listen to me. Eh? If you are Agune Chamber 1 of Ntejeland, he who must be feared, he who must be obeyed, uncle, you will have problem here. Marriage here is duty, love, respect, and cooperation. It is not master servant. It is not lord and slave. Because these are the mentalities that a lot of men come with. And after they'll start running to Twitter to go and cry. No woman sets out to be a single mother. Except a few exceptions that maybe I don't know whether they are normal. Or, but no normal human being with children would just rather have the children without their father. You see, when I did a video some months back about do not relocate to Canada if... So we're going to Canada. If I did that video, some people, some people that was pinning, <laughs> I'll keep peppering you until you hear the truth. You haven't even seen anything. You will cry tired. Some people that it was pinning, a lot of people that had sense understood where I was coming from. But some people that have refused to embrace change came and were like, Neze, eh, how long have you even stayed abroad that you know these things that you're giving this advice? And in my mind, I said, it doesn't take forever to have sense. If you have sense, if God has blessed you with the gift of wisdom, it is there. I am someone that is very aware of my environment. I don't need forever. Once I come into a place, I am very abreast of my environment. I easily internalize and integrate. I easily know what's up. So when I came, I saw the dynamics. I saw the way the place is. And I released that video. It didn't need, I, I didn't need two years to know that these things like this, if we do it this way, it will be wahala. If you do it this way, it will work. Anybody who is maltreated and overwhelmed will eventually revolt. It is a normal part of life. That was how slavery ended. That was how a lot of things, a lot of vices ended. Read the history of man. Anybody who is perpetually enslaved, one day, just like a goat that has been pushed to the wall, will turn around and face their oppressor. Many of these women in Nigeria living under these circumstances, under these conditions, is because they do not have a choice. Those men are their meal tickets. But if you are a good, decent, and responsible man, when you come here, why would your wife now say she does not want the marriage again? She wants to be a single mother. The marriage will even be sweeter here. Because it's just 
you both of you against the world. Even with doing your things together, loving up, enjoying yourselves, raising your children. No interference, no wahala, no sister-in-law coming in and badging it from nowhere. You will be able to manage your time, manage your resources by yourself. So please let us be checking ourselves right from home. I was reading another one on Instagram. The man was like, eh, he told the wife to submit her salary. She was submitting it. After some time, her eye now opened. She refused to submit her salary. And I'm asking myself, what level of control? Come, are you, are you, are you normal? Why would you want another human being to be working and at the end of the day, will carry all their salary and submit to you? Both of you can agree as a couple on how to handle expenses jointly, on joint projects that people want to embark on. It's different. But how can you mandate another human being that every dime she makes, she must be remitted to your account? That's abuse. Then tomorrow, if the woman says no, it's wrong. Let me have a say about what I earn. Let us agree as a couple on how we can put our resources together and execute projects. You now come and say, she has changed. She is a devil. She, she, has, she has done this. She has done that. You and your wife comes back home by five o'clock. She's bathing children. She's sweeping. She's mopping. She's doing laundry. She's warming food. She's cleaning. She's, and you are not doing anything. Then at the end of the day, in the night, she's exhausted. Body no be wood. Body no be firewood. She's tired. And she can't quack requa, then you carry it. Hey, women, when they come to the abroad, they deny their husband this, they deny her without addressing the underlying issues. So please, my dear brothers and sisters, in fact, I came here angry today. <laughs> I came here to rant. Rant about this grave misconception that marriages abroad are suffering. Women abroad are killing their husbands. All the men are depressed. They have entangled, they have squeezed them like paper. They have kicked all of them out of their house. They have denied them sex. They have... Please, enough of that. How you lay... How do you people say it? How you make your bed is how you lay on it. If you are scared of coming abroad with your wife, it means that you are an abusive person. Because if you are a loving spouse, when you come abroad, the lovey lovey will be even pro max. But when you are the type that beats your wife, you abuse her, you cheat to her face and tell her, get out, there's nothing you can do if you don't want to get out of this house. If she complains, you deny her finances, financial abuse, verbal abuse, you call her names, then she comes to a place where she can work and get money for herself and she doesn't need to depend on you, she doesn't need to bear those maltreatments to feed. Then when she starts having a paradigm shift, you now start complaining, it is abroad, it is abroad. Abroad don't do you anything, uncle, auntie. It is your character. That marriage has had K-leg right from where you are coming from. Don't blame Japa. Don't blame relocation. So my dear brothers and sisters, if you are seeing this thing with me on social media, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Let us address it because it's becoming annoying. What do you think about Japa marriages and all these words going around the internet that marriages abroad don't work? This, that, 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 that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Because to me, when you say, when she comes here, she has power. So what exactly, what power were you robbing her of when she was in her country? I don't understand. So guys, please drop all your comments down in the comment section. I have done a video a little bit similar to this. Please go and watch it where I also addressed the women. Both parties have a role to play. For me, I believe that marriage as an institution is not hard. The way people say it, marriage is hard, marriage is tough. Marriage, it is the individuals. Two people can be in a marriage to be sweet, two people can be in a marriage to be war. So what makes it different? Is it the name marriage? No, it's the individuals that are in the marriage that will determine whether it is basbos or whether it's peaceful. And the both parties have a role to play. So please let me know in the comment section what you think about this conception, making the rounds about Jackman marriages, African marriages abroad, and how the women did this, the women did that. Let me know. Advice. Let these men read. They'll get angry, but let them read it. It will stick in their subconscious whether they like it or not. Let them read it on how to manage their marriage. And also for the women, of course, nobody is perfect. Men too, drop in the comment section what you think women are doing or doing differently or doing wrongly that is causing all these misconceptions going around on social media. Let us have this talk now, once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching if you're new here or if you're yet to subscribe you're watching me yet to subscribe don't forget to hit the subscribe button follow me also on my other channel and there's a video drop all your comments in the comment section okay give this video a big thumbs up and stay glued because we have so much more coming your way all right it's me your girl barista neza and this is neza pepper repair <laughs> 
I'll see you guys in my next one for now. Bye.